Hello there! I know it's been a while since I finished the last building series, so now it's time to kick it with a new one. So yeah, I'm starting a building series based on the location from the 2019 Star Wars game Jedi Fallen Order. We are going to take a trip with Cal Kestis to the planet Zepho, which holds a lot of Force secrets and is one of the most important planets on Cal's journey. One location that exceptionally caught my eye was the abandoned village which is now overrun by stormtroopers. Not only will I have a chance to use some of my new army of troopers, but also I will be able to make a build in a sort of a castle style aesthetics, which I love so much. As for the series itself, I am planning about 3-5 to five episodes, with the last being the finale. In today's episode I am going to show you the basic idea of what the build will look like, and of course I have already started the building, so there will be some actual progress done on the mock itself. Now before we start going into detail, please consider clicking the red subscribe button below so you won't miss out on any of the future episodes in which this beauty will be coming to life. Now without any further ado, let's jump into the game so you can see the location that will be the main focus of this build. So. This is the place which I will try to recreate in LEGO form. The main focus is going to be the courtyard on which Kal will be fighting a bunch of stormtroopers. Already at my first playthrough I had to stop and just look around this place because I really dig the aesthetics of the village. This is going to be the whole area which will be made on a 48 by 48 base plate. Starting from the cliff with the broken bridge which is a great touch in this place, with the round tower on the right and the houses embedded into the mountain on the left. The tower isn't going to be an easy thing to build because of its shape, and especially of the hole on the top, but I already started prototyping it and it's coming along quite nicely. As for the buildings on the left, I want to change them a bit. Mostly I want to make the rooftops flat so I can utilize the space with some details and place some of the stormtroopers there shooting at Cal. Moving forward, I want to make at least a part of that mountain with the buried door and this little porch-like area. The back side of the mock will be made as here, that is with a wall and a path going down. It will give a nice height difference and will give more opportunity to place a squad of troopers running towards the battle. The other side will have a wall going upward towards this little house I want to build, at least partly, with a functional roof as well to put some more details. I will probably use this house to make some interior, which is not shown in the game, so it should be a fun little challenge. Ok, and now since we have that covered, let's see how the build is coming along, starting with the minifigures I have for this monk. Our main hero is of course Cal Kestis, who I think look very solid. I used the torso from the Mando figure, and a poncho from a figure I got in one of the minifigure series held by an arm bag. I still haven't made the BD1 droid, and to tell you the truth I don't have an idea for it yet, so if you have some suggestions, leave them in the comments below. As for the baddies, there isn't much of variety here. Just a bunch of new stormtroopers I had for some time, and two old scouts that will be the melee troops. Unfortunately I don't have the newest ones which I like very much, but they are not the cheapest, so I will see if I'll be able to get some of those. Ok, so much for the figures, now let's jump into something more interesting that is the build itself. I have already made most of the stand which will be the terrain and the parts of the buildings you could see in the clips from the game. From the front it is mostly finished, I just need to make the bridge and finish the tower itself. I was trying out many variations of building the tower and I think this is going to be the best technique. Not too legal and a bit fragile but the looks of it really resembles the tower from the game. Just a small part of the tower is finished and that is because I simply ran out of bricks. I already made a bricklink order and I got the parts I need to continue the build, but we'll talk about that in a later part of the video. Switching to the other side of the build, I made some progress here with the foundation of a small house and a path going between it and the tower. From here the path will be made mostly by dark grey rocks on the ground and some dirt, grass and snow scattered all around the area. This side is not yet made but it will contain some rock work 
to make the little patio in front of the cave with a rumble doorway. The back side of the mountain is already a bit outlined with a simple rock technique, but it should be enough. I'm still wondering if the houses over here will have an interior or not. Or maybe I'll make a little independent scene inside the mountain, what do you think? Now moving to the middle part of the mock, the terrain will be mostly flat, with a mix of dirt, grass and bits of snow. And of course it will be a spot where the battle between Cal and Stormtroopers will take place. Most of the terrain for that is already raised with a bunch of Duplo bricks, which by the way is a great way not to use too much regular ones, which will for sure be handy later on. And that is all the building progress I have for now. It actually took more time than expected, but it's starting to look like what we have in the game. But of course, no new building series could go without at least one Bricklink order, so now let's see what we got this time. The parts will be required mostly for the tower, so let's start with the most important ones, which will include a lot of brackets, 1x8 tiles, and 2x4 plates. Next in line are few types of light grey curved slopes that I will use to finish the top of the walls of the buildings. I also got some 1x2x2 grey slopes that I will use for the walls and some more tiles to finish them up. As for the terrain, I think I'm set for now, but I got some dark tan slopes and some green elements that I had in smaller quantities. Oh, and I got a few parts for the ATST Raider designed by Edge of Bricks that I want to build to have a display on the shelf. Not Zephyr related, but they will be useful soon. And these are all the parts I got this time. It may not have been the biggest haul, but there are a lot of parts that will help me continue the build in the coming weeks. Now that you guys know what my goal is for the build, and I have the parts I needed to continue, it's time to get to work. I still have a lot of building to do, but I was so absent from building lately that I will gladly sit down and just put the pieces together. As for the future of this building series, the next episode should be out in about 2 weeks, depending on the progress I'll be able to make, so stay tuned for that. If you have any ideas on how to improve the build I made, or how to implement some of the elements that are in the game, let me know in the comment section below. With all that said, I want to thank you for sticking to the end of this video and for starting this new journey with me. Remember to leave a like and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe and keep it bricking.